Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Tizen operating system on Raspberry Pi 2. The steps which I am going to show you on installing Tizen operating system on Raspberry Pi 2, you can follow as such the same steps on Raspberry Pi 3. Now before we dive into how to download Tizen, how, what are what are its uh, procedure to install it on Raspberry Pi 2 and then I will be showing you on my live HD TV that what is the first boot and what are the basic graphical user interface of Tizen. Let us first of all deep dive regarding what is Tizen operating system. Tizen operating system is basically developed by Samsung Corporation for installation over your mobile, wearable watches and televisions. Now let us deep dive into more. Tizen is an operating system based on the Linux kernel and the GNU-C library implementing the Linux API. It works on a wide range of devices including smartphones, tablets, in-vehicle infotainment devices, smart TV, PCs, smart cameras, wearable computing such as smartwatches, Blu-rays, printers, smart home appliances, air conditioners, robot, robotic vacuum cleaner and many many more. Its purpose is to offer a consistent user experience across devices. Tizen is a project within the Linux Foundation and is governed by the Technical Steering Group composed of Samsung and Intel among others. The Tizen Association was formed to guide the industry role of Tizen including requirement gathering, identifying and facilitating service models and overall industry marketing education. Now if we talk of Tizen, the developer is Linux Foundation, Tizen Association, Samsung and Intel. It is written into HTML5, C and C++. It is Unix-like operating system. It is currently into the working which means it is having active development status. Its initial release was done on January 5, 2012 about 4 years ago and the latest release is 2.4 that is released on October 22, 2015, 9 months ago. Now if we talk of some system architecture, Tizen provides application development tools based on JavaScript libraries, jQuery and jQuery mobile. Since version 2.0, a C++ native application framework is also available based on an open services platform from the BADA platform. The software development kit allows developers to use HTML5 and related web technologies to write applications that run on supported devices. Ophono is a telephony stack, SMAC is utilized to sandbox HTML5 web applications, windowing system, the X window system with the Enlightenment Foundation libraries is used, Wayland, Tizen up to 2.x supports Wayland in vehicle infotainment setups and from 3.0 onwards default to Wayland. ZYPP was known as package management system which is known as PMS, Conman was chosen over network manager. Now if we talk of the official website of Tizen you can see on my computer that is Tizen.org you can see much information regarding the blog, regarding about us, community, events and follow Tizen. Now if we want to have some more indulge towards Raspberry Pi and Tizen you can follow this Wikipedia page because uh, I have researched lots and lots of internet so I have found only this page which is very much uh, good in order to give you some overview regarding this Tizen. You can find building using Tizen Yocto, building using GBS so lots and lots of models are there and you can see this is the interface. If I click over this you can find an image and this will be the same setup which I will be showing you on my HDTV like the same wallpaper and now the question is that if you want to download Tizen and want to install it on Raspberry Pi what you should do so you can go to this website that is called mediafire.com slash download slash this link which I will be giving you in the video below and you can find this is the link and you can click on this download and the download will start so I have already downloaded this which is this zip file if I double click over this you can find this is the image so it is uh, on the RPI SDI MG file and if we extract it so here is the image if I right click over here and click on properties you can find it is about 644 MB so it will not take much time to install on the SD card so in order to install uh, you can say your uh, Tizen operating system on Raspberry Pi 2 so what I recommend is to have a SD card at least with 16 GB and it should be at least class 10 and next what we will do is to first of all insert the SD card which I am having in my hand and it's a Kingston Bait SD card so you can see that it is uh, containing some files so first of all what we have that is use SD formatter so click on yes so click on option click on on and click on OK. So we just remove this also and we click on format. OK and OK. And now you can see that the SD card is being formatted and if I double click over this you can find that now there is no files. So SD card formatter plays a crucial role in order to format the entire card system. So let us exit it and now we need some uh, software in order to install this image into our SD card. So we use the Win32 Disk Man Image Manager. So click on yes and now we just browse over here and I go to the desktop and you can find 
not image over there so what you have to do is to select this star dot star so now you can find that is over here we have this image that is rpihwhpimage.com so this is click on open and click on write and click on yes so it will uh, take about one to two minutes depending on the speed of the SD card you can see that uh, it is not taking much time as compared to Raspbian Kali Linux which I have already demonstrated you in some of the other videos of Raspberry Pi so till it uh, installs let me pause the video for some time so now you can see that the write is being successful so it has taken me about two to three minutes to install that SD air card image into my SD card so I click on OK and I click on exit so what we have to do is to first of all eject the SD card and then we move to Raspberry Pi first of all I will be demonstrating what connections I have made on Raspberry Pi and then we will go with the live boot of Tizen operating system on my SGTV so I just click over here I right click my SD card and I eject Raspberry Pi so now let's go to the part B of this video in which I will be inserting the SD card and showing you the Raspberry Pi so we come to the second part of a Raspberry Pi video of Tizen so now you can see that here is a Raspberry Pi which is holding I am in my hands so here is the SD card which uh, I will be inserting into my Raspberry Pi so that I could be able to start with the Tizen operating system so what I do I just uh, insert this SD card like this and here you can see that there is a Raspberry Pi so over there we have the HDMI and there is a power and there we have our keyboard mouse and there we have our Wi-Fi dongle so of TP-Link so that we can be able to uh, do our uh, work of the Tizen operating system so what I do I just power on my Raspberry Pi and let's see on the output so now you can see that the Raspberry Pi has powered up and now you can see the starting boot of Tizen operating system so big big files which we have So in a matter of couple of seconds you can see that there is a start job which is running and uh, the Tizen is booting up. So lots and lots of files are there. So it is very easy to install Tizen just you have to download that image, burn that image by a Win32 disk measure, insert that card into the, into the Raspberry Pi. You can see it is booting and we can see a beautiful boot over there. So now you can see that my mouse is working. I am holding this mouse over here. So you can see the Tizen wallpaper, which I have shown you in the image. So here are the some few games, the Tizen jobs, which you can see like the terminal Tizen job Carol. And here we have the Tizen log Alice. And here we have the Tizen launcher guest. So what you have to do, you can just click on the terminal. You can have the commands like LS, there is nothing so if I type in if config you can find that there is no files so lots and lots of cool files so we can see the video also so we can see the video so here is just a basic boot of Raspberry Pi with Tizen so in this video i have demonstrated how to install tizen operating system on raspberry pi so do give this a shot do like this video i hope you gain a lots and lots of it via tizen operating system on raspberry pi 2. thank you so much for watching do like this video